Hello everyone, today I want to talk about germline mosaicism, which is one of the mechanisms that allows offspring to present with a disease that is not shown in their family history. So, what is germline mosaicism? So when a person has two or more populations of cells in their ovaries or testes, and one of the population is genetically normal, and the other or others are genetically abnormal cells. And by genetically abnormal, I mean there may be point mutations in the DNA, or large deletions and insertions, chromosomal breaks, or abnormal number of chromosomes, etc. How does it happen? So during the embryonic development of an organism, a mutation would occur in one of the cells, as illustrated here, while the, all of the other cells are normal. And then this mutated cell divides by mitosis, and they become germline cells in the mature organism. So you end up with germline cells that are mutated in the mature organism, while somatic cells are genetically normal because they have not mutated from the beginning anyway, and they did not mutate throughout the whole process. So when this happens, a parent may be phenotypically normal, but they are actually carrying germline cells that are mutated and pass on the disease to their children, even though they present with no disease if you carry out a somatic cell genetic analysis. Thank you so much for watching this episode. This has been quite short, but I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope this has cleared up many things for you. I can subscribe for more.